Hi everyone, and welcome back. Today I am joined by the one, the only, Spencer, my brother, otherwise known as, and today we are going to be doing something very, very fun. We're going to be drawing Pokemon from memory. How do you feel, Spencer? I feel good. I, I feel go. awful. I, I feel like... Oh, if you want my honest opinion, yeah. Your honest <laughs> opinion, please, for everyone. I feel like Generation 1 and 2, my memory is... Actually, no, just the first generation. I can remember pretty much every Pokemon by heart pretty well. And then after that, it, it gets just a little bit fuzzier, each one. And um, there's no rules. We can, we're each gonna choose uh, a couple Pokemon each. We have not planned which ones we're choosing. We're just gonna choose them on the spot. We're both gonna draw them. There's no timer, but we're neither of us are, I wouldn't call either of us particularly incredible artists, so it will probably be a matter of a minute or two, and uh, then we'll compare them. And the winner is whoever has the most fun. I just said there are no rules, and then went on to explain the rules, so. All right, uh, we're gonna be drawing Tangula for the first one. Oh God, all right. Here's a pen. What the hell does he look like? I always think of Tangula as a woman. And I know there are there are gender ratio. Oh god, the phone! As I was saying before, the phone so rudely interrupted me. Is that I've always I think it's because of the hair, the long curly hair, the luscious hair. I just I just think of Tangula as a woman. And there are gender ratios. I know like in Pokemon. Um, so like like um, what's an example? Jigglypuff is more commonly. Um, Female, I believe, and Lucario is like an, an example of more commonly male. I don't really remember what Tangula looks like at all, so I'm starting to wonder why I've chosen. <laughs> this is like the most complicated possible, like massive details. Am I wrong in thinking Tang Tangula was once your favorite Pokemon? Yes. Okay, I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I just associate you with Tangula because you look so similar. Mine just looks like Kirby with dreads. <laughs> <laughs> Mine looks like, um, kind of like, uh, like a pack of ramen noodles before you break them apart. I think Tangula's actually quite a simple design, but hard to replicate unless you actually have a very clear image in mind. <laughs> Are you done? I think that's it. I think that's the best I can do. I'm, I... I can't remember if Tangula has hands. I guess I'm done. Right, you want to show yours first? Yeah. You know what? In essence, it's pretty much the exact same. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yours is more, um, you got the things going out. Yeah, I think that was wrong, but I wasn't really sure how else to like. I think, I mean, I think there's like one or two. It's they're like tentacles kind of, but hair. Yeah, but like I think, I think they're like wrapped around kind of. Yeah, they are. It's like t a tangled mess, hence the name. But mine, I just got lazy and did scribbles. <laughs> and then I like started to try and make them thicker by like, and then I just gave up. And then I added some shoes. So it's pretty much the, the eyes, the shoes. It looks like, yeah, it looks like a sheep with like a weird like face. It does look like a sheep, like from a, what do you call the view where it, it's this way? Like a front on. Like a front on. Know. Okay, who are we drawing? Uh, let's draw Magneton. <laughs> okay, I know this is supposed to be from memory. But I from memory? <laughs> I can't get it's either, it's either the, the, that's got, that's the, that's the three. I'm pretty I'm sure that's going. the one with three. You're gonna lose. Because the ton in the name means like, it, 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 it that to me, implies a certain quantity that is more than one. Have you ever considered giving up everything to become uh, an artist? Not until now. I don't, I feel like I remember pretty much every detail that matters for Magneton, minus like where, cause I, where some of the magnets are, which I guess is a pretty, I think I'm done. Somehow like halfway through this, I forgot how to draw like the shape of a magnet. I definitely, okay, maybe I want to make one little adjustment. What's your favorite Pokemon, Spencer? <laughs> um, that's a good question. Thank you. And I'm a big, um, Zatu fan. Zatu is such, that's like such an emo answer. <laughs> I'm sorry. Brooding Rarks, bird. Dude. You good? Yeah. Okay, I'll see yours first. Three. Wow, they look so happy, except for this one. I know, I tried to give them different, different personalities. But the, aren't they always, oh, they separate. Right? Like they're main, because I do my connected. Oh, 
Wait, that's right. They have one eye. Wait, do they? I thought they just had the one eye. You might be right. I think I... Yeah, I might have too much I think they just... It was just like a circle with a dot <laughs> and another circle. And then this is kind of like how they... See, I drew two magnets on this guy because I'm like, this doesn't look right. So then I drew another one. <laughs> and... I, but yeah, I forgot they, they do demagnetize, don't they? I'm glad I was writing it. Because isn't this is the evolved form of a different Pokemon? That's right. Magnemite. Magnemite. And that's just one dude, right? That's right. Okay. They saw this. Pokemon only has like three features. Yeah, they managed to like screw it up something. I, I think they did. I think I'm having quite fun now. So I might be... <laughs> I might be in the lead now. Okay. We're going to be drawing Miltank. Oh god, okay. Another one that I don't really remember well. I have no clue why I chose it. But, um... Now this is another one where I I, I I can't help but feel like the gender ratio must be weighed in the female favor because... They all have udders, right? Yeah. So, but you know, who knows how it works in Pokemon land. Doesn't... Multi kind of looks bull-like in some... Like, is... Are they like some kind of combination of... I have to close my eyes and really think about this. Oh god, that one has a cow look like. That's what might be my next question as well. I know that Miltank is a cow, but do I know what cows look like? They have some kind of like, some kind of like little, that's not it. Yeah, I we're doing hard mode. I chose to get pens instead of pencils because it shows up better on camera. If you could have one Pokemon, who would you? Uh, Mr. Mime seems like a good companion. <laughs> I feel like Mr. Mime would kill you in your sleep. That's two. Two phone calls while filming. This isn't... I actually, I'm pretty sure in all my time filming YouTube videos, because they're usually always done in one take and I didn't, I didn't edit them until recently. I started doing that. I don't think I was ever phone called in the midst of it. Um, I've been very lucky. Baxter's barked a lot of times. Speaking of Baxter, he was the first family member to appear on this channel. You're now the third. Oh, nice. Yeah. Are you <laughs> okay. done? Yeah, I don't know what else to add to this I'm, one. I'm, this creature. I'm really not. Like, uh... There is, yeah, there's something crucial I'm missing about what, what cows look like. <laughs> Even, like, cartoon cows, like, their, their faces. Like, I can sort of in my head picture what a cartoon cow face looks like. But not enough to actually like bring it to life. On yeah. The page. Yeah. I, I. I. Yeah. Like this could. De mine is not something I would like submit to Game Freak and be like, "Hey, can I can I step in?" I mean Nintendo. However, it's not the worst. What do? Oh right, they have hooves, don't they? Would you drink milk from milk tank? I don't see why not. They're basically just cows. Do they do that? Do you think in the show? Do they? That's, do okay, that's a good point. That's a good point. Are there because there aren't animals in Pokemon? Like Pokemon are the animals? Yeah. Wait, which kind of okay. begs the question? Like, where does like like is everyone vegan? Okay, I'm finally done. All right. All right. Hey, I'll show mine first. Sure. Change your face. This is my milk. <laughs> Oh, nice. Got the udders, got the cow spots. Yeah. Got yeah. the nose ring. That's All the true. cow features I could think That's of. That's true. Mine is like way worse. <laughs> Are those supposed to be ears or horns? Those are supposed to be horns. I forgot what like the face is supposed to look like. You got the, you nailed the tail I think better than I did. It's literally just like a little line. But I think but there's a truth to the hair on the end and the thinness. <laughs> of, the, of the tail itself, whereas mine is the same, and there's just a, a very lazy spot. Okay, who's next? Uh, we gotta go with my boy, uh, Geodude. Shit. Oh yeah, I know who Geodude is. <laughs> I remember his shape, supposedly his facial features. Oh god, I don't think I do. <laughs> <laughs> what does his face look like? I feel like it's quite rocky. But that's as much information as I'm gonna share. I need any advantage I can have to be having more fun. <laughs> to be having more fun, that's right. It's yeah. no fun to fail to draw a geo dude. He's made of rocks. I think that much we can agree on. I feel like Pokemon names were a lot more fun in like the first generation or so. Like, don't you feel like they kind of... I don't know, I don't really keep up with the modern Pokemon, but I do feel like the names have gotten worse. Wait, like what are, like, what are some examples? I don't know, and that's the problem. They're not memorable. You're well, not I mean, catchy like, maybe enough. if you like watch the show and play the <laughs> games, you would remember. That. Okay, I'll tell you one that's bad. Is it's the black and white generation. It the Pokemon's name is just throw. Throw. It's just throw. 
Does it throw stuff? Yeah, it's a fighting type. It's like a sumo kind of thing. <laughs> Not like, um... It's just through. I'm done. Okay, all right. Oh. <laughs> here it is. Here it is. I will say that my instant reaction was kind of like a, a Frankenstein Shrek situation, because <laughs> those are definitely looks like Shrek's head, but Frankenstein vibe. He's really like... <laughs> He's really... Having a He's good performing. Thing. Mine is a lot smaller. Oh, he looks pissed. He's, he's really angry. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, he's, he's got the veins. Yeah, he's ready to go. Did you have fun doing that? A little bit. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching us drop Pokemon from memory. Thank you very much to Spencer, aka my brother, for being on this episode of Boone Does Things. Uh, that's a name I just made up, but if you want it to become a series where I do things and I have people on here, uh, I'm limited to about two people <laughs> during quarantine, but I can always Zoom people, so if we do things that aren't exactly right. this, you know, there, the, the, there the, are options are, the, the options are limitless, and really there's any number of things I can do. I hit a bit of a creative block, which is why there was no video last week, so if you guys have any suggestions whatsoever, it does not have to be related to being trans or gay, as we've just illustrated, it's possible to have fun without talking about your identities within the LGBT community, <laughs> believe it or not, but that can also be part of it. Maybe next time we'll draw Pokemon wearing uh, pride flags and imagine what Diglett would be like if you were a gay man. So anyways, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Done! Nice. Good job. Yeah, bro, that's uh, I dropped mine.